<laughs> Good morning. Sorry, I had muted myself. What I was saying was, what I was saying was, this is the joy of zoning. A Monday morning, early week, early work week zone out as we get ready for the rest of the rest of our work week, the rest of our day, in which I take a couple of hours in the morning to play SimCity 2013, a game that used to make me very, very anxious in 2013, but since then, I have learned to not let it and other th arbitrary things make me more anxious, such as being muted the whole time. Apologize. And I was showing you, taking you on a little tour of our wonderful city, Circles Within Circles, which is a misnomer, of course, because it's more like, it's more like the shape of a wedge or a pie. It's more of a, shall we say, a trivial pursuit. Topia. Okay, we'll call it that from now on. It is one of my first and only mad experimentations with curved roads. I want to stop following this airship, stop it. It's nice that it's coming and going. It's bringing tourists to see our big old stadium. And as well, our big old Eiffitawi. That we added. Now the sun's going down. And we're in a good position to see all of the regions that we've built together over the past couple of months. The lights are lighting up over here in Twin False Gods. up there on the hill is the megalopolis known as hashtag Max Fun Drive Sylvania. This is where we have our university. This is where we have our what used to be our oil production but has now been transformed into um, I guess processing and this little guy over here is our trade hub. Nice to see everybody in the chat. And what we're gonna do today is, I don't know, it's 10.30 p.m. We have some, let's take a little, a little stroll through our city and see what we need. And if you, if you are out there and you remember from last week what I was working on, I'm planning to do today. I think I was planning to add some space age control net so that I could deal with this sewage problem. In fact, maybe I better deal with that right away. All of our, there's our beautiful non-denominational uh, chapel. There's our teeny tiny little industrial area. Here's our dump. This is kind of dump corner, honestly. This whole area here is kind of... Well, it's a real dump, isn't it? And I have the option to add a sewage sanitizer, which will treat sewage at 26.3 gallons per hour. or a simple sewage treatment plant. If I were to add that, where could it go? I mean, what I could do is, I don't want to get rid of this industrial area here, so I'm going to try this. Yep. Before I go, 
too far. Let's see if that allows me room to add a little. No, it doesn't want me to add a little pipe. There'll be no place for me to add this thing. So we're gonna have to deal with garbage later. Let's go back to sewage. And we'll build a happy little sewage treatment center right here. Oh, look at that. I'm not gonna destroy that little building. I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. There we go. Let's speed that up and see how that takes. Closed, now hiring. Fire blazes out of control. Oh, well, a giant monster is menacing our city. Let's slow things down a little. Where's that giant monster anyway? There he is. Oh, he's taking out some of my residential blocks. It's been a little while since we've had a disaster in one of our cities. Might as well just sit back and watch. Of all the disasters, I don't mind the giant monster too much because... Yeah, you know, McDowell Apartments, I think you should be more concerned about giant monster than about crime. Paul plays some games, says, how am I supposed to deal with a giant monster? I mean, there's nothing to do. Other than to watch the destruction. Typically, he likes to go over to the um, <clears throat> to the dump and eat the garbage. Oh, there's his butt. And of course, the disasters just happen. It could be a tornado. It could be a giant kaiju or a, or a giant mecha, it could be a meteor shower, earthquake, UFO encounter, that means invasion, big lizard, tornado, zombie attack. These are just one of those things you have to endure. Oh, look, that fire truck is going to get squashed. Is it? Get him. Oh. never really gotten too close to him. This is about as close to ground level as I can get, I think. Oh, they're running. What did you say? No simoleons couldn't find, as simoleons couldn't find cheap food. To me, that does not seem to be, that does not seem to be your real problem. I mean, what better metaphor for the day before election day to have a giant red menace destroying society and the person on the ground is like, mm, inflation is bad. Mm, inflation is bad. I talked to somebody in New Hampshire yesterday. He's like, what's your biggest issue this election? He said, well, it's got to be inflation, doesn't it? I'm like, well... I'm not sure how, you know, it's a global problem. I'm not sure how much having a lunatic election denier like Don Bolduc in the Senate is going to, in New Hampshire, is going to help inflation, but I know that's going to really affect abortion rights. Choose your battles. you got a giant monster destroying your entire civilization. I have simoleons, but can't find cheap food. Just a line of devastation. Oh, kitty litter in schools. Kids are identifying as cats. They're not. Don Bolduck in New Hampshire says they are. I had not expected 
SimCity to be so on the electoral college, on the electoral nose today. I wish I could follow this monster. If I click on him, what happens? Nothing. Hello in Western Australia. Nice to see you. Kate Littleton, hello to the Azores. Yeah. The economy, I saw someone say the economy will eventually get fixed. The economy will come back. Your rights will not, or at least not easily. There we go. You'll notice that, what are you talking about? Backed up pipe still? For all of this, my approval rating is, well, it's going down. It was at 83% when I started playing. While we're watching this monster destroy our civilization, he's gonna, here he is, he's almost to the top now. This is where he's gonna have some fun. And add a sewage treatment tub here, that'll help. Let's add another one. Yep. There we go. We solved one problem and we got another. Here he comes to eat that garbage. Yeah, thank you, Kate. The idea is to be soothing. You know, the name of the show is The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. That is taken, on the one hand, from the gameplay in SimCity 2013, which we're playing today, where you have to zone residential, commercial, and industrial districts. You have to zone stuff. But you also have to zone out a little bit. Sometimes life just throws a giant lizard at you. And unlike in the real world, a giant civilization, election denying, completely bad faith, uh, cynical, power hungry monster like a certain politicians, the stakes in this world are nil. Zero, as they say. I'm a, I'm a coastal elite, so I say nil. He's just going to eat that garbage. I've played enough to know that the monster is just going to eat the garbage and go away. And honestly, if we can train ourselves to accept it in this simulation, maybe we can train ourselves to not let the monsters get the better of us in the real world. Just eat, let them eat their own garbage and go away. We will continue to work and to build. I mean, right now, my city's in the red. I got a whole... I got... 34 destroyed buildings, and I've got to bulldoze them, or else nothing will grow there. And that's a good point, point Professor Pangea. The sea monster, although I think he's not a sea monster, I think he's a land monster, does help because he eats all the old garbage and makes room for more garbage, and it makes room for new, new construction. The Joy of Zoning is also the title of this show because it is inspired, I hope you realize, by The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross, in that we are working together to create a little, a little landscape full of happy little accidents like this dude. Come on, eat the garbage. Come on. Speed him up a little bit. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Then he's gonna yeah, crawl back into the earth. Good job. He did his job. Now it's 5.34 a.m. I'm pausing it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna survey all that rubble. No, first thing I'm gonna do is go over here, check out our big money maker, our stadium, and I'm gonna schedule an event look at this. I mean, look, we had some sewage problems. We have some zoning issues. Johnny Hart had a saying already that we should build some mega towers. And maybe we will. Maybe we will. I've got a space for one. We have some sewage issues 
obsolete outflow pipe. So he's just mad because we still have some outflow pipes. Well, we don't need any more because we built this sewage treatment plant. We'll deal with that in a second. And we have 34 destroyed buildings. You're right, I do love Bob Ross, but you have to admit his paintings lack monsters. Unless you believe Bob Ross himself was the monster. Something we learned on an earlier edition of Joy of Zoning is that uh, the, the original Magic of Oil painting guy, whose name I cruelly have forgotten, who kind of pioneered the forum of public broadcasting television live painting shows, got his IP stole by Bob Ross. That's one way of the story is told. That's right, into the garbage where he belongs. Let the monsters just, let the monsters in your life just go into their own garbage pile. Meanwhile, I'm going to schedule an event here. I'm going to have a party in my stadium. Not merely because we built it and I want to use it, but also we can profit from it. Now we've lost a lot of, we have the opportunity to do a monster truck rally, a world championship, or a Legends of Rock tour. And you wanna see like a world championship brings in more medium and high wealth residents and tourists. And we don't have a lot of those. That's why I was less successful with my world championship. Low and medium wealth residents and tourists this is what we want. Either this or the or the Legends of Rock. Legends of Rock costs 300,000 simoleons. This is only 150. And because we had about 30 some odd homes destroyed, uh, I don't know what the population is going to support. Um, how, how big an audience is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule this for 8 p.m. tonight in game. Let's start this back up at turtle speed. And then something exciting happened over here that I wanted to show you. Fancy. The Frisky Franciscan. This is some kind of commercial. This is a commercial zone. That's what the little blue house means. I don't know. What better way to celebrate the disappearance of the monster than to ritually recreate it in truck form and watch it eat other trucks. I think it'll be very cathartic for everybody, but good point, Red Fox Unseen. Yes, the Frisky Franciscan could be a nickname for Jesse Thorne, exactly. What I wanted to show you with the Frisky Franciscan, oh, some of some of our trash is going to Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. That's good to know is it's got a little bit of a, this is a hotel, suites. And it's got a little bit of a chateau look to it, doesn't it? And that's because when you plop something like La Tour Eiffel, it starts gradually changing the landscape around it. It's not really done anything here, but eventually these homes should develop and become more French. At least that's the idea. How's the, uh, how's the tempo? Oh, there's a, there's some rubble. We might as well clear it out, shall, shall we? How's the music uh, volume? Bad or good? Let me know. Let's take a look at all of our rubble. Good. All right. Music volume's good. My volume's good. Everything's good. I'm streaming from a different location today, so I'm using a different setup. A lot of things happen. Oh, our Millennium Plaza got destroyed. That's a shame. That's a park. Our high school is still in pretty good shape. Our school is in good shape. Let's see, where 
here's the next spot. Okay, look at all this. Our tennis court, however. Let's take a look at our sad tennis court and our sad basketball court. Ugh. Flattened. I really have to bulldoze the whole thing? I couldn't just lift up that net? Oh well. I'll do it. Basketball court. It's gone too. These are just tones. And for all this, I'm still raking in 23,000 simoleons per hour. I mean, my business is... My tourist business is paying off. Just bulldozing some models and starting over. Those are actual live homes. I just destroyed some people's homes. They were complaining not enough room to increase density. Like this person. Get out of here. Too small. We need to get big. build our industrial zone here. Oh, that's everything. Now, what are you talking... Oh, a obsolete outflow pipe. Okay, let's find them. There they are. Let's get rid of them. So that's gone, and I've made some room. I think that that's zoned industrial. Let's make sure that it is so they can build. Well, before they do... Does that allow me to, enough room to add an extra garbage pipe? Yeah, it does. Good. That's helpful. And we have a little bit of an issue here with garbage collection. We're in the red there. So, can we add more? We can add more. We can add that. it out? Let's do it. Well, no, I'm not getting hurt. Uh, where are the absolute outflow pipes? Oh, there's another one. Thank you. I'll do it. What's that? Water shortage. Okay, that's bad. That's not something you want to do. So let's go and... One thing about mega towers should we choose to invest in them is that they require a, a lot of water what's happening with our this is all of our water our water pumping stations are these guys surrounding the airship hangar i think it looks very elegant but is there have they pumped out all the water let's take a look no there's still a lot of water around so that we can add water because I don't want to that's all all that brown stuff at the top means that there's pollution there right so we don't want to necessarily put our water towers there and this is a spot which I'm saving for a mega tower right here for a little bit of water. I mean, we can get a water pumping station. for heaven's sake. Now 
the best spot, the most water, is over here. So I'm going to do it right here. And this will help, because this is an upgraded water tower, it'll help modernize some homes. Let's see. Plus, those homes should get bigger so that their view can be above the water towers. Now we have a, a power issue. We're a little bit below our power needs and we're buying power. We have no power production at all in the city. Now, if we had a fusion power plant, that would be good, but you need a jump start for that. Wave power plant. Remember when we were doing a wave power plant? But where could we put it? I think we've kind of used up our shoreline, and I bet I just. Yeah, I bet I've just blown it along here. There's no way to put it. Fusion requires, this is a mess. Don't ever deal with this. This will invite all kinds of trouble to your house. It never works. Wind is very clean. Coal isn't, oil isn't. You have to buy the coal or buy the oil from the global market. Oil makes a lot of energy though, but more than we need. I mean, we're just a little bit below. Clean energy takes up a lot of space, it's true. Solar, wind, three versus eight. We have 34 deficit. It's gonna be coal. It's gonna be coal. I want it somewhere where a coal truck can come nearby and get there quickly from the global market. Here, it'll wipe out one business in an already polluted area. Whoa. Did you guys see that airplane? Yeah, in the Azores, they use geothermal. That's cool. Cody, you raise an important point. You know, back when I was putting the water towers on the shore and other um, industrial infrastructure on the shore, where are the where are the fancies going to go? The Sims don't care about the beach. These dumb Sims who live in these cities, they do not care about the beach. They won't. They don't care to live there. It has no added value. It does not raise land value, as far as I can tell. They just don't care about the beach. Plus, the thing you need to know is where, which way the wind blows. We talk about this all the time. As you can see, the wind, this is my wind map. The wind is blowing this way, out to shore, as it always does. And I'll tell you what. If you look at these residential zones up here, If the wind was blowing in this direction towards them, they would not be happy. 
but the wind is blowing this way, so all the pollution from this industrial area gets swept out to sea. All of these guys are too packed in it's because of these curved roads, they can't develop. So I'm going to get rid of all of them and dezone this whole area so that no one else will build here. And then these guys will have room to develop. If indeed that's what I want. Because remember, this is not a, a high, this whole area is not designed for high population per se. It's designed for tourism. So I don't, I don't care. I'd rather a few buildings get dense than have a lot of buildings. here. And right now we're having a problem with density. These folks are not getting dense enough. And you can see residential demand is going down anyway. Trying to dezone here, thank you. Should I do one out? Keep that. This is the guy I want to get rid of. So this whole area. And eventually I think I'm just gonna put an airport in this area anyway. Let's see what happens. And we have one abandoned building. Where is it? Why did you no water? Well, we solved your problem. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna let this run for a second while I can check in with someone who lives in my house, stand by. Hey, I'm back. Which is better, this? No, oh, that's too me too much me. This. What did I have before? No. This or this. This. Or this. This. So you can see the whole screen. It's 9.36, you're watching The Joy of Zoning. 9.36 a.m. on Monday, November the 7th. Tomorrow is Election Day. I hope you will vote. I hope you will consider doing something other than voting, volunteering, poll working. I noticed something on Twitter that the Monroe County Democrats in Pennsylvania need people to call, volunteers to call and knock on doors not to influence voting, but to chase down unreturned ballots, to cure ballots really important so and you don't have to be in Pennsylvania to do it go to Twitter while it still exists before it eats its own garbage and goes into the center of the earth where it belongs and look up Monroe M-O-N-R-O-E County Democrats in Pennsylvania if you want to spend 30 minutes or an hour calling to help cure some ballots okay where were we we solved all of our problems so far. But here, we have high tourist demand. More tourists want to come to the city than the current transportation system can handle. Add or expand mass transit. Well, that's no problem at all. Doors are open for her monster truck rally. One way that we can expand rap, first of all, I think we're trying, where, where did I see orange here? No way we weren't getting freight, Well, you're getting it now. Land value is low over here. Not enough room to increase density. How about you all go away? Sorry. I 
All right, everybody, I have to, I'll let this run a little bit. Don't tell me we have backed up pipes again. People are arriving for the big show. As long as this is in yellow, I'm losing money. When it turns green, I'm making money. So I'm gonna jump out here to say, uh, have a good day to someone who lives in this house, and I'll be back in a moment with the joy of zoning. Cross your fingers and talk to each other. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Try to get more centered in the screen. There we go. Thanks for keeping yourselves company in the chat. Uh, okay. It's 4.36 p.m. Things do not look good for this concert. Uh, monster truck rally. Maybe it was too soon, after all, to hold a monster truck rally after the monster. Or maybe, maybe it'll pay out. I mean, people are still coming in. It's only 4.45 p.m. This guy just wants more tourist demand, right? Let's take a look and see what's happening. There's a lot of parking issues here, right? Wow. I mean, you'd think with only about a third capacity, there'd be more parking available at this point. What are they 
they sang about it. Came to the Pro Stadium. Yeah, Grace and Copeland came to the Pro Stadium. Oh, maybe they're going into some underground parking? Oh, yeah, there's some underground parking. There we go. What do you... What the heck? Uh, what are you guys doing under there? Why are you sitting in a circle underneath this support structure? I'd like security to check in on these kids. It looks like they're forming a cult to me. This is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Are you advertising a different SimCity stream on my SimCity stream? Little Doomer? You're doomed. Yeah, I think that's right. Cult of the Monster. These kids in there are celebrating the monster. I don't know, like, I don't know if I like that. They're trying, they're trying to levitate the stadium. Maybe that's true. Sims love public transit to fill stadiums. Well, sentient jorts, since you are sentient jorts after all. And Kate Littleton also, and any other SimCity person. When I'm trying to clear, let me take off there. When I'm trying to clear my culture secretary's annoyance, add or expand mass transit options. We have a problem with the ferry in that it can only, it can't accommodate everyone who wants to come in. We can only build one ferry terminal. I could add another railway terminal, and I could add another bus terminal. When I add an airport, it tends to just not bring people in. What do you think is the best thing for me to do? Put it in the chat. Not enough freight producers. Oh, all right, we're working on everything at the same time. How are we doing? Not so hot. <laughs> Let's speed it up and see if we can get anywhere with this. Okay. We're getting close to we're getting close to monster truck rally time. I don't want to lose forty three thousand simoleons. By the way, if you have photosensitivity issues or seizure disorder, maybe look away from the screen right now, because. Well, because. All right, here we are. We're starting. I'm going to break even on this. People will still be arriving, but this is. This is not working out the way I hoped. We need to pour some more residents in here. And why am I buying power from Max Fund Drive Sylvania? I've got all the power. We're now two hours into this thing. I'm not going to break even. Wow. Okay. Lesson learned. Kate says if I highlight the transit stuff, we can find the problem. Lesson learned. People did not like that monster truck rally. Plus, we probably just don't have enough people going, coming to town. So let's solve some of those issues. Shall we? Stop. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, there we go. There we go. Oh. Plus we have some abandoned buildings. Not enough freight shipments, they say. around that stadium.
They all want higher land value. They're not going to get it. They're going to get destroyed. Kate, you're not wrong. Kate has a whole holistic plan for increasing public transportation and mass transportation. So we're going to get to work on that. Don't you worry about it, Kate. We're going to get to work on that. But first, I got to destroy these homes. <laughs> I'm going to keep this trailer next to this big building for fun. I'm doing this so that these other homes can have room to expand. And I'm also going to put a park down here at the end to raise their land value. Put a little, little parky here, maybe. What's happening with you two here? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add a Millennium Plaza here. Make this all much more attractive. I'm also going to add a formal garden here. Theater's too big. Large film park. Go right there. This is going to be some beautiful stuff here. People are going to love this. There we go. See? There's some increased density happening right now. You can throw a tennis court in there. Land value is spiking up. Spiking. What did I put? What is this? A little hot house? What is this? Did I add this greenery here? Oh, it comes with the building. Got it. All right, let's take a look at our transit problems. It's the joy of zoning as we approach the 10 a.m. hour in the eastern coast of the United States. My name is John Hodgman. This is the joy of zoning. It's just a little. A little couple of hours on a Monday morning to zone out together, playing SimCity 2013 as I zone residential, commercial, and industrial, and also make other adjustments to a city that is actively trying to stress me out by throwing monsters and requests for academies and all kinds of demands on me and me practicing what we all need to practice, which is to sort all the stimulus we get in our life, triage it, Pay attention to the important stuff, throw away the other stuff. And the important stuff is, what do I want to do? Like, I don't get any pleasure from building waste treatment plants. I get pleasure from building new stuff and interesting stuff. What's the worst that could happen? Shouldn't I have some pleasure from playing a game? Kate Littleton says, no. I have to look at all my... So I have to put all my subways and things in order. Sorry, Kate, that's not in any way the way you talk. Industrial demand is high, commercial demand is low. And going down. My approval rating is going up, though. Yeah, Tuesdays is when we normally have done this in the past. I don't know what next week will hold. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'm doing it today because tomorrow is election day and I got other stuff to do that I didn't realize. I have to go to Human Monday stuff. Well, Little Doomer, thanks. Yeah, I know I appreciate it. A lot of you probably will have to go to work at this hour. Not everybody is a marginally self-employed podcaster 
writer, whatever it is I do, performer. But will we come back? I enjoy it. I just don't know when yet. But keep an eye on the, on my Twitch stream. You'll find it. Meanwhile, little Doomer, I know you've got so many other SimCity YouTubes to watch. All right, let's take a look here. The ferry terminal is working and it seems to be in the green with almost 4,000 tourist riders and 500 resident riders a day. The wait time is 92 minutes. That's not in the green, is it? Our boat situation is in the yellow, 60 minutes average wait. Of course, we can't build another ferry terminal here. Trains are running well. Streetcars, there are none. Buses, short wait. Planes, we just have that airship. Maglev is what we don't have. Maglev is what we shall have. Oh, there's some buildings here. That's good. Things are sprouting. Things are sprouting up. I like it. Things under construction. Good, 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 good. The problem with these tight corners is these buildings that are not triangular have difficulty expanding. No thanks. I don't want the Brandenburg Gate. Taxes are still high. Everyone's okay with that. lost money on this event. We need to do better. Let's take a look at our population. Who are they? What do they want? We have 101,440 resident Sims with 112 visiting at 3.49 a.m. We have lots and lots of available jobs. We do not have anywhere near peak employment. The most is low wealth available jobs. Problem is I don't feel like building a low wealth mega tower. I think they're ugly. And we have lots of unsold goods and unsold. We need people, we need people. And we do not need more student desks. We have zero in the homeless population. That's terrific. Unhoused, we should say now. What? What are you saying to me? Where do you want me to be now, Kate? Let's go ahead and build mass transit, the most fun part of the game. Where am I clicking on? Transpo. Oh, the green is how far they're willing to walk. Okay. They have a bus station right here though, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they can walk to that bus station. And that bus takes them everywhere they need to go. Although, we need a bus station at the Eiffel Tower, don't we? <laughs> Good point. And we want a bus station here at the commuter thing. And we want a bus station over here. Ooh. Where else do we need a bus station? Now, trains. They have a bus station right in front of there. But what would be the good of a, a park and ride near the major terminals? I mean, I'll put it in. Park and ride. 
fit one in right here. Okay, there's a park and ride. And I know that the main bus station has a couple of them there, yep. And I can fit one in here too for the you want one here for the ferry as well, Kate? Sure, why not? I'll give Kate everything that they want. They'll fit right in here at the end. Better? Everything seems to be pretty bright green. And what do we have over here? A problem building fire over there. Building fire over there. Get rid of that. Mega towers. Before I add mega towers. Let's take a look. Let's just tease what I could be doing instead of fixing. Good point. What about an entire city of park and rides? Hmm? I can build a low, medium wealth mega tower here. disasters happen either way. I can trigger one myself if I want to watch it happen because I hate my city or occasionally the game will just throw them at you. And particularly if you have um, a nuclear power plant, it's an invitation to a natural disaster. Okay, so my future plan is to have a low wealth mega tower over here and a high wealth mega tower over here. Medium to high, low to medium. That'll be nice. But first I am going to address this transit issue. Because the last thing we need, what we really have a problem with up there in Maxwell Drive, Sylvania is traffic. And that means maglev, and that means control net. So the time has come to do this. How's our water supply? A fair amount of unused space over here. Not enough free producers. I know, but I have a lot zoned here. Oh, it's because these things are building. built. There we go. Population's increasing, new buildings happening. One thing I can definitely do while I'm waiting, because since I'm, this space will be for residential mega tower, I can go ahead and zone this residential. Just let the chips fall. I can destroy these houses later, so let's just do that. That'll be a nice influx of new population. I thought that our educational system was just fine. Classrooms are full. Let's see where the problem is.
we are a growing city. Why is everyone so upset over here? Why are they all going red? Not enough freight producers, I know, but look. I want to remind you. We got freight getting built over here. There's still, still need more. Why aren't we building f more factories over here? Might as well build some more over here too. See what happens. I might shut up Johnny Hardhat. It doesn't seem like anyone is building in this freight zone. So what's the point then? Oh, there we go. Something's happening now. It's 10.05 on a Monday morning. This is November the 7th, 2022, if you're watching in the future. If the future you're watching is tomorrow, November 8th, and you live in the United States or can vote, I hope that you are able to vote tomorrow. And I encourage you to do a little bit more than vote if you can. That would be terrific if you don't mind. This is the joy of zoning. My name is John Hodgman. Zoning out on a Monday morning while zoning residential, commercial, and industrial here in a little city we call Trivial Pursuitopia because it's shaped like a wedge. Stand by for a moment. I am going to slow this down a little bit to respond to a message from a third party. We'll be doing this until about 11 a.m. today. So let's get some control net up in this piece. Not enough freight producers. We're working on it, buddy. If we go to the academy, we can add some control net. this control net. Any advice on that, Kate? Or anybody? million simoleons and as this thing begins to open who knows what will happen sell control net to the neighbors. I want it all for myself. Thank you. City needs power. Radio. Abandoned building due to high taxes. Okay. Seem to 
recall that our power plant is over here somewhere. Our coal-fired power plant. I don't want to sell power to neighbors. I want it. And I want to add an advanced coal generator. And another. How about a, a dirty one, too? Well, that's it. Using a bunch of energy. Yeah, we're buying it already. I'll buy from... And false gods too. I'll take energy from everywhere. Let's go. Light it up. Tourist location closed. Why? Oh, because of power. Well, now we got power. Still a lot of barely meeting our power needs. This is going to be a big issue, y'all. We need 298. We're generating 300. But we're also buying, so there's not an issue there. We're lighting it up. That's good. That's a very good point. Thank you, Kate. While our actions in the game have consequences, let's let them play out and talk about the consequences of inaction in real life. Not that anyone here, I imagine, is not going to vote. But it's important to remember that voting is important. It is not the only thing that causes change in this world, but if it were not for elections, going the wrong way in the past 30 years, 40 years we probably would not have three liars on the Supreme Court um, appointed by a person who did not win the popular vote well, the electoral college system uh, sucks and it's wrong that we apply grading voting power to land than people in these United States but it's not going away anytime soon one thing that we know, the conservative right and the Christian right have been really, really good about organizing takeovers through voting of local state, local offices, state offices, not just national offices, which is usually where non-conservative right-leaning voters focus their energy and attention. That's why the midterms are so important. That's why it's important to do a little bit more than voting by doing some phone banking, some volunteering, even if it's just outreach to friends, contacting the Monroe County Democrats or what have you. Voting in person is really good. Oh, look, the consequences of my action in the game are starting to become a problem, so I'm going to go back and leave the... Leave the... Uh, pause that for a second. Yeah, currently attending a Zoom Legislative Committee for State Professional Association. Vote forward letters are good. Calling is a little bit more effective statistically. Canvassing, ding dong, is the most effective. Statistically. You don't see me doing it though. Too scary. Do whatever you can. And I will just say, um, take heart. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but the truth is no one does. It's true that every polling org and certainly every news org is predicting a big shellacking, as they call it. A word that Barack Obama gave them when he got shellacked during his first midterm elections. 
but Oling is very imprecise at this point. And you have to wonder, everyone, all the news orgs are basically saying, uh, Democrats were counting on abortion to be a big driving issue, but it seems like that hasn't happened. Like, uh, we weren't counting on it to be a big driving vote issue. We were counting on it to wake people the freak up about rights, about how serious the threat to our human rights is by the other side, by particularly the Christian conservatives in this country. If you're Christian, get with your people. Because church and state, nah, no good. That was the whole point. You, the, the most conservative person in the world has to acknowledge that church and state should not. That's part of our founding document. Get out of it. Get out of each other's business. That said, everyone thought in Kansas, the polling in Kansas, vis-a-vis their abortion ban bill, was 47 in favor of the ban, 42 in, uh, against, 10% undecided. That was 12 days, 12 days before the vote. The vote, of course, came in 60-40 against the ban. That was a big polling error. And I have to think it's because for a lot of people, the issue of abortion rights, which is very important to me, among others, for me, it's critical. This is not a, just a like political issue. It's a personal human rights issue. And it's one that they may not feel comfortable talking about with their families, particularly if their families are Trumpists or uh, re- a re- a Republicans of any stripe. Because that's a position for the other side of the team, the other team. Also, a lot of young people are notoriously difficult to poll. Someone showed up in Kansas and knocked that thing out of the park for abortion rights. So they're going to tell you everything's 50-50 right now. It could go any way, blah, blah, blah. And that may be. And it may be that it's a Republican route. Absolutely. But don't get too discouraged. Get out there. Help people vote. It's good. And Kate says, Ron DeSolis for State Board of Education in Colorado. Absolutely. You all can figure out how to help each other in the chat. Meanwhile, i got to help this city before we go. What happened now? Coal supply is running low, right? Because I'm importing coal is the problem. Garbage dump is almost full, even though that monster ate it. And not enough freight producers. Okay. What this is telling me is that I want... is that I want a trade, I want a trade depot to import coal efficiently and to import freight efficiently. If I want to keep up with this coal thing, I mean, if I want to do a different realm of garbage that just cleans up ground pollution let me fill up this dump a little bit here build a road out a little bit oh what are you telling me I can't can't do it can I add another treatment thing yes extra garbage. I want to send my garbage somewhere else. Hmm. This is a problem. See these curvy roads? They came back to bite me. What I'm supposed to be able to do here is build out a service road. Nowhere to build more dump unless I trash this. Will that help? It might not. No. Oh, oh, there we go. There's there we go. Yeah, we'll let 
We'll let people drive by the dump. That's fun. There we go. And for the time being, I will go ahead and place a trade depot. I mean, it's really old school. But it'll help us. And you can see traffic really backing up over there, can't you? I want the Trade Depot to be over on this side of town. Oh, there's that park over there. Cole, that's why I'm buying more for you. But I guess I can't import freight. I can only locally produce it. So this is sort of pointless to have this here. Modularly, just this. I have to do this. That's the freight shipping warehouse. I'm, I prefer receiving. Let's just get some more coal in here. All right. You'd be happy then. I mean, why am I going down this road to begin with? You know, why am I going down this road to begin with? Now, let's solve our traffic problem, shall we? First, I'm going to turn you off until I know what's happening here. Next, I'm going to see about freight. Why, why don't we have more freight? Not freight, uh, industrial. Too small, I guess? No one likes it? I don't get it. And why are you so small? Not enough room to increase density?
Let's put a parking right here. I don't like these buildings anyway. Alright everybody, got a little some stuff going on that I gotta just pay attention to. Running low on coal, I know. We're trying to... Oh, I'm all paused here. Sorry. No wonder there's been no improvement in their life. No wonder no one's building any f any industrial buildings. Will they ever though, I wonder? That's my question. It's, what, okay, not enough room to increase density. Let's, let's make some adjustments here. There is nothing to be done over here. Too small. Too small. Let's get rid of these buildings here. Now, let's go ahead and make sure that this is, this is not going to be anything here. Too small. Too tiny. Too, too busy. zone this freight and see what happens. Maybe someone will build something here. Everyone's excited about something, it seems like. you're going to be making smiley faces in a moment, y'all. Because I'm about to, I'm about to let you all go. Zone this freight. building some mega towers soon. We've got a lot of pop. A lot of population. And I just want to get this all freighted up. Industrial. Industrialized. Since I had to give up so much of my industrial area to things like trash and water and waste. What a waste. Okay. Now some people are unhappy. I gotta have to take a little sip. Yeah, I, uh, I, I can't commit. Due to some life events, I can't commit to a regular weekly thing at this point. But I really enjoy doing it, so I will keep you posted. Twitch.tv slash John Hodgman. 
And I'll always announce it on Instagram and Instagram at John Hodgman as well. Instagram slash John Hodgman. All right. Now we're almost getting up on 3 million. For all of this trouble, we have only continued to grow and prosper. And we shall continue to grow and prosper even more. Oh, I built a freight a freight yard where I need to put that mega tower eventually. Worker shortage. I understand it. So let's go ahead and see where that mega tower is supposed to go. I was going to create a low wealth, low to medium wealth, excuse me, mega tower right there where that freight yard is. But I can put it there. I can put it there instead. That feels inelegant. On the other hand, it's very nicely packed in. And that leaves a lot of... What I should do is reconfigure this road, it seems like to me. chat what you think I should do. I mean, part of me really wants to just move this. Like, what I really want to do is I want to keep my option there. Really? More classrooms? What's this? That's an apartment. I wish, I wish Professor Beatnik had not interrupted me right then. That was really annoying. I had a whole thing that I wanted to do. And by hook or by crook, I'll do it. Commercial demand is really low. zone this whole well, this area here D zone here right good I'm gonna go ahead and smash smash it up because those mega towers will provide energy eventually towers still fit in there. This is like putting together a little puzzle. One way to find out. When as soon as this goes, delivers its coal. I'm going to get rid of it. Why are the trade depots closed? No, they're not closed. this. Oh, these sad 
buildings next to the trade depot, these sad homes. Oh no. Who are you? What are you still doing here? There are lots of great places to shop. Value the quality of your life. Hey, let me help you. Goodbye. So sad. Yeah, I don't have time. I'm gonna get rid of all this cold. Sorry. Goodbye. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait anymore. And I'll go ahead and abandon, rub, demolish some bin buildings. We guess high taxes. Yeah. Guess what? We're going to lower taxes in a sec. Oh, but see how Frenchy these things are getting over here? That's because of that Eiffel Tower that we built. High taxes? Not enough freight shipments. Why am I trying to keep you all so happy? What do I get out of it? Hmm? What do I get out of it? We are still raking in the cash, and I've not held a single event at that pro stadium. Now, let's see if I can fit that mega tower with apartment level in. I can. <laughs> Look at that. I'm embracing mega towers, Kate. I don't even mind anymore. I'm embracing them. Here we go. Embrace. Everyone loves a mega tower. I mean, let's do it. Let's fall in love. Let's build an elite mega tower to go ahead and and be with it. I want to make sure it's facing the same way. I'll wait till the other mega tower is built. What's the problem? Worker shortage. Guess why I'm building these things? Creep. Mega, mega, mega. Let's take a look at our mega tower. Let's slow it down just a tiny bit. Oh. It's so gloriously ugly. And it's facing into the city. So that's where I want my other mega tower to go. I'm curious, can I connect this road to this road? And is that a good idea? Yeah. Too close. Can't draw a road through place buildings. What if you weren't there? than this. I can do it right like that. Okay. Just another entrance. How about this way? Can I do one over here? weird curve. I don't know, man. Make a tower. Got a lot of entrances and exits now. That does not look elegant, but it is what it is. All right. All right. 
classrooms full. Show me where you're at. Well, the high school needs some more classrooms. Okay, that's fair. Put one right on top. Got another on top. Oh, a Mega Tower High School? <laughs> oh, I did not know I could do such a thing. All the money I just spent, we just made it back. I'm making 20,000 simoleons an hour. This is good. This is good, everybody. I'm not going to give up on this city. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. I am going to make sure that there's a bus station out by our mega tower here. There needs to be a school bus station. Let's make sure it's on the same side of the street. As Kate Littleton points out. It's a school bus stop. Yeah, let's do a, a regular bus stop. At every entrance to this mega tower. Looks like that's a bus stop there, isn't it? What is that? What's going on there? No, they're just buses. We just went through the mega tower. Did you see all those floating people? Bus stop. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't what are you all doing in this yard? That's very suspicious. Pause. Burning off some energy. Weird. Okay, go ahead, do it. I guess they burned it off. No, it had a, had a, definitely had a methy vibe, didn't it? All right, let's lower our taxes. Particularly, well, let's lower taxes for the least wealthy. We, all, we, we have a lot. We need a lot more low wealth sims. Let's lower their taxes and encourage them to move in, shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and lower taxes for low wealth sims to 10%. 9%? Sweet. That's just for residences. And across the board for commercial, I'm going to lower taxes as well. I'm going to keep taxes high for the... Okay, that's good. That's a little tax break that we got there. So far, so good. Health. To raise my monthly that option, that's a good cheat. I don't need to do it. Look at my monthly income. It's still 20,000, more than 20,000 simoleons an hour. An hour. Let's add a new level to this. I'm going to add 1,200 low wealth sims in here. I'm going to start that construction. And I'm going to augment this with a little, a little, uh, parkage. Cause I got to fill in these corners. They're happy. I guess this... I'm going to add a little excitatorium. A few 
futurizes nearby houses and whatever. Raises medium wealth in our athletic center. Yeah, they're gonna love that there. And then I can add some basic services here. Well, how about a little barbecue pavilion? Barbecue pit. Small field. It's too big. Small field's too big. That's too big too. Blacktop park. Whatever. Yeah. I agree with you, Kate. It has a very thin line between feeling like fun and feeling like work. I'm having fun. I don't want to work for the game. I want to work for Johnny Hardhat. Again, we get a lot of stimulus, a lot of pressure, a lot of requests. What this game has taught me to do is filter out those that are not helpful to me and my quality of life. That's why I zone out to it. And you can see as we go into our last 15 minutes here of the show, I'm barely talking to y'all folks. Barely talking to you. Because I'm zoning. I'm zoning. I'm so into the zoning. Let's check our control net. Oh, rubble. What happened now? I solved that problem. I was going to say, look how francophonic this is. No, that's the control net situation. Got it. But you see, these are getting Frenchified over here. This is a very Frenchy neighborhood. People like to have control net. Classier Sims move into the city as the city's first mansion starts construction. Oh, and that reminds me. Oops. <laughs> I just meant to click on you. But you complained about taxes, so what am I going to do? don't have a mayor's mansion or a mayor's house in here. Anywhere. Well, I'll hold that in reserve. I think we're going to have a water problem soon. I'll tell you what, though. I think we are.
hard to decide. Water guy fails the vibe check. I don't have a sewage treatment. Yeah, I do have a sewage treatment plant to turn sewage into water. Really? Really? Good idea, Kate. Let's take a look at that. But it's not. Control net one. No, I don't have that one. But we're going to work on that too. Right? This all goes back to control net, does it not? Let me just throw some more pumping stations in and we'll deal with all this in a minute. avenues to have street cars in them. I hate the street cars. I hate them. Love mag love maglev though. That's why I put in this control net in the first place. So let's check our control net. people off the damn roads. Where was I going to put that municipal airport? I was going to sneak in it over there at some point. Someday maybe. Someday maybe. That'll at least get us that international airport. We'll hold the phone on that. Pardon me while I have a drink of a uh, name brand soda. No, you can't. Sorry to say. Let's get some maglev in and then we'll, we'll have one more event, shall we? I'm going to pause it for a second. Oh no, let's keep it running. stations in a minute, but I definitely want a maglev in front of the Eiffel Tower, don't I? Yes. And I definitely want a maglev station in front of my beautiful stadium and in front of the Make 
this turn, yes or no? Oh, right. Got to curve the maglev around. Oh, really? It's going to destroy that stuff. Yes, I will definitely show the whole region. We're getting to the end here, aren't we? Thank you for being with me on the Joy of Zoning. What if we did it this way? y'all. <laughs> maglev is rough. Straight lines, please, for the maglev. But that's frustrating, because I want one right here. Solve this maglev prob. I just want to try to solve it. Maybe this is the price I pay for having such a curvy city. I don't know. I'm going to leave it here for now. Sometimes you just got to put it aside, come back later. You'll remember that we have those maglev stations there. You know what I'm going to do though? bad just yet. Sunk cost fallacy and all. We'll figure that out next time. I don't want to be spending money on those things. I'm going to destroy this one bit of rubble. Our income is going down. We're making almost 10,000 uh, simoleons less an hour than we were before, but the city still looks great. Everyone's happy in our mega tower. And it's 10.22 p.m. In Trivial Pursuitopia. This is the region. This is our current city. There's the Eiffel Tower. There's an island that we can't reach. Oh, if only we could get to that island. What's on there? There's a blimp lowering down. Way out on the horizon there, you can see. see Twin False Gods, our other city, and our third city in the region, our OG city, with its towering mega towers that need to be expanded. Next one drives Sylvania. And here's the whole region. In the whole region, which we call the Joy of Zoning, we have three cities, a combined population of a little more than almost 600,000 simoleons, uh, sims. An embezzler's on his way, or their way, from Maxwell Drive, Sylvania. 
these two city of lights chug on and eventually we're going to build an international airport here maybe a space center whatever the case thank you for joining me i will let you know as soon as i can when and if i can do the joy of zoning next week until then thank you very much let people know i appreciate your being here farewell to everyone in the john john hodgman facebook group why did I name a podcast something that's so hard to pronounce? Judge John Hodgman Facebook group. Farewell to all on the YouTube channel. Farewell to all on Twitter. And farewell to all on Twitch. I will see you next time in the joy of zoning. Happy accidents. Bye. Oh, yeah, and vote. Vote, everybody. Vote.